If you have a hook assembly, you want to learn how to install it, please watch our video. Hi, this is Chuck Birch with New Tech Machinery. I'm the quality control manager, and today we're going to be installing a hook assembly in your gutter machine. And when we're installing the hook assembly, these are the tools you're going to need. Ratchet with a half inch, and you're going to need a set of Allen wrenches, and you're going to need a six inch scale, and you're going to need a half inch wrench. So this is your hook assembly right here, and these are all the parts and pieces to put it together. This is also a, a, a change up design. So when the hook assembly comes up into the six inch position, we have this recess, so you're gonna to have to change this for your cover. These are your changeovers from 11 and seven eighths to the 11 and three quarters. So when you set it up in six inch, make sure you have the right block to set it in from your changeover. So let's go ahead and dive into this and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing you need to make sure is you've depowered the machine so you don't have any power going to it. Okay, so we're gonna be working inside the machine and we're gonna take the cover off. To take the cover off, release this latch, flip this up, and we're gonna remove this. This you're not gonna need because we're gonna be replacing it with a, a different one with a notch in it. The hook assembly is gonna go in right here and I'll put the blocks in it and show you how to set it up. So now we're gonna use the 3 16 and a quarter inch Allen wrench to go ahead and install these here. This one installs on the exiting side. And when I put them in, I don't really tighten them up a lot because I want to make sure that each block on each side is level to the body of the hook assembly. So we put this one in here, I'm going to screw this one down. And after we got that installed, we're going to go ahead over to the other side and install the entry side to hold the hook assembly in place. Again, we're not going to tighten them down all the way because I want to make sure the blocks are level to the body of the hook assembly. And after we get everything set, we're gonna make sure it's good. So now we're gonna grab the hook assembly and we wanna set it in here and make sure it's level. The bodies are level to each other and there's no rocking. So once we make sure that, we can remove the hook assembly and go ahead and tighten up the blocks. And the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna have a pre-roller assembly installed and we're gonna remove this bolt right here on the top. We're gonna install this right here. So after you install that, we're gonna loosen this nut. Come back this off and we're gonna run this all the way in to where our material is sitting, to where it just touches the material off the entry guide. So now we're gonna take the hook assembly and we're gonna install it. And this is in the five inch position. So we're gonna set it at about right there. And we're gonna get the bolts and go ahead and install that. And then we need the block. So here's the box again. And you got two of them for the exit side and two of them for the entry side. And I wanna point this out to make sure you understand that depending on the five inch material you're running, you're either running 11 and three quarter or 11 and seven eighths. Um, so we're going to use the ones that are 11 and 7 eighths right now because that's the material we're going to be running. So we're going to set those right here and it's going to hold your bolt. Right now they're just a washer. But then when we go to the six, we're going to take it and put it underneath the block and raise the assembly up to the six inch position. We've got that one installed. Go ahead and loosen all the jam nuts because we're gonna be moving those around a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the entry end block. And this slides in and out for the adjustment for the five and then we do the six. You have a stop over here for five inch and over here for six. So we're gonna push this all the way that way. And then I wanna get the bottom rollers on the assembly as close as I can, like metal clearance on the rail, and I use the screws to pull it back to line it up. Normally I look through the shear, the exit end, to see how it looks. And then after I got that set, take your ratchet and you go ahead and tighten everything, tighten this down. Once you get that tight, go ahead and bring your bolts and your stop, your adjustment box, because we're gonna be switching this back and forth from five to six. So this is your five inch stop. And again, over there is your six. So once we get that set, we're gonna go ahead and lock this down. And that's the setup, basically. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to do the setting of the heights here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, loosen these down, push it down and see if I can't get that measurement. So we're gonna loosen this bolt here. This one's supposed to be 1730 seconds and the exit end is 1930 seconds. So we want a little bit more pressure pushing down on it so it lifts the back back up. Okay, we're right at 1730 seconds there. So I'm gonna tighten this up. So after we get this one locked at 1730 seconds, we're gonna move over here and set this one at 1930 seconds. So it's going to be further away from here, so it's gonna be lower. So you're gonna be tilted slightly like at a downward angle. Okay, there we go at 1930 seconds. So we're gonna tighten it up, make sure these are snug and I'll just go ahead and snug these damn nuts up to make sure nothing moves. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove the bead assembly. Um, these two bolts right here, you switch it from five to six. What we're gonna do is remove it and we're gonna install a different one to control the, the hem. This is the crimper or bead assembly on the back of the gutter that we removed. We're gonna install this one which helps bend the, the hook down and hold it in the correct position for the shear. Now that we've uh, got the bolts lined up with the back plate, we're gonna go ahead and bring this in and snug it up. And we don't wanna tighten it all the way because we're gonna have to adjust it to the material coming through. Check it and see where our height is gonna be. And normally you can put it in the same spot of markings where you had your old one. Make sure we're all lined up there and we look pretty good. So now we've got this set up, we're gonna go ahead and run the material forward. So now that we've got the hook assembly installed and the bead assembly installed to control it through the shear and to give you the right crimp, we're gonna go ahead and bump the material through to make sure that the bead is working correctly and it comes through the shear. This is your hook right here um, that we put in it. Um, most of them use a hanger for it or uh, some people call it the old Alcoa system. Now that we've set up and ran the five inch and everything looks pretty good, we've got everything locked here. Now we have to set the six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this. We're gonna loosen this one and we're gonna remove the blocks. And now we're gonna lift the assembly and we're gonna put this underneath between the mount and the body of the hook assembly. And that's gonna raise it up to where we can run the six inch. Now that we've got our blocks installed and we're gonna go ahead and snug everything up, including the exit end. And then we're gonna set it to the entry guide. So with the entry guide back, we're gonna move it back into the six inch position, making sure that you're just inside of the guide rod. Need to back this one up just a little bit. Now once you get that set just to the inside of the guide rod, you go ahead and snug it up, snug this end up. And now you're gonna take your six inch jack screws and you're gonna tighten them up against the bolt hand tight, and then you're gonna take down your nuts or your jam nuts. Once you get those tightened down and locked in place, you can run your six inch position. Now, one of the other things you can do with this is without an uninstalling, without taking this out, you can go ahead and switch it to what we call straight back. Take the bead out here, your crimper, and put the bead assembly in so you can go back to standard setting. So to do that, what you want to do is loosen this bolt, loosen this bolt here, push this whole assembly inward and lock it down and the material will come through and pass on the back outside of the hook assembly and it's out of basically out of play, out of line of the material and it'll go through without a hook. Now that we've set it up for five inch and six inch, um, you should be good to go inside the machine, uh, whether you're gonna be running five or six. If you have any further questions, go to our link at our learning center. We'll see you guys soon.